Hi, Notion is a really easy to use productivity slash project management tool and lots of architecture offices such as BIG are using it. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could have seen the Revit model of your project in its Notion page? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do that using Speckle. I have created this Notion page for the famous Revit sample project and I have included a couple information about it such as its architects, you know, the project area, the year, city, etc. You know, a couple renderings, the project description and I am planning to embed the 3D model into here. How do we do that? Let me show you how it's done. To follow this tutorial, you'll need a couple things. First, you'll need a Speckle account. You know what? It's free. Get one at speckle.xyz. Then we'll need the Speckle Manager. I'm going to show you how to install that. And finally, we'll need the famous Revit connector. We're going to install it via the Manager. So let's continue with installing the Manager. To install Speckle Manager, simply Google Speckle Systems and go to Speckle's website. In Speckle's website, go to Connectors, click on Revit, and click on Install. So this will transfer us to the Speckle Releases webpage, and I am using a Windows device, so I'm going to download the Windows installer. Let's save it into our desktop, and double-click. Simply agree to the license agreement, and voila! Speckle Manager is now installed. Let's install Revit Connector. Installing Revit Connector is really easy. Simply go to Connectors and search for Revit. Click on Revit and click on Install. Just like that, Speckle Connector for Revit is installed. Okay, so we are in Revit now. If you have installed the Speckle connector for Revit correctly, you should see a new tab named Speckle. And I have opened the sample project. Let me go to 3D view and yeah, so this is the famous sample project. So what we're gonna do now is we are gonna send our Revit data into the Speckleverse. How do we do that? Let's activate the Revit connector and I'm going to create a new stream. Let's name it as Revit to Notion and click on Create. So there are a couple ways we can send data from Revit to Speckle. First, we can send everything, all the Revit you know, data with all the family types, etc. into the Speckleverse, or we can make a selection. We can you know, filter the Revit categories and send them or we can send a Revit view into Speckle. So what I'm gonna do is, let me close this. I'm gonna rename my 3D view as Speckleverse, right? So for instance, I don't want to see the topography in the viewer, so I'm gonna hide this category. I don't wanna see the trees as well, so I'm gonna hide them. Let me hide these guys too. So maybe let's hide the car. So yeah, I think this is totally fine. So I want to send all the elements visible in the Speckleverse viewer. Let's reactivate the Revit connector. I'm going to come over here, change it from everything to view and search for Speckle. Yeah, so Speckleverse view is right here. So I'm going to save this. So once I click on send, so all the elements visible in this view are sent into Speckle. So send successfully, view online. So here it is. So in the next step, we are going to embed this viewer into our Notion page. Let's do that. All right, so I'm in the Speckle Weaver now. I want to embed this into our Notion page. How do we do that? Simply go to the top right corner. There is a share option. I'm going to click on that. So we actually have an embed, but Weaver embedding only works if the stream is public. So first we have to make sure that our stream is public. Let's do that. 
So once you do that, you have the iframe code available. I'm going to copy that and paste it into here. So let me analyze the structure of this iframe. So this is actually a really simple HTML iframe. So I have the source code available in this part. And then we're defining the width and the height of the HTML iframe. This is especially useful if you are embedding your speckle viewer into an HTML website. But when it comes to embedding your viewer into a Notion page, you actually only need this part. Let me copy this. Let's come back to our Notion page. So I'm going to paste it into here. So once I paste this link, I actually have an option to create an embed. I'm going to click on that. And voila, just like that, Speckle Viewer is embedded. Let me click on it. And yeah, here it is, 3D model of our project embedded in the Notion page. In the previous part, I showed you how to embed your Speckle Viewer into the Notion page. But let's say that you want to make change in your model and you want to view them in the Notion page as well. But right now, what we have copied and pasted into the Notion only contains the, you know, the snapshot of our Revit data in that point in time. But we want to see, the, you know, we want to see the up-to-date version of our data in the Notion page. How do we do that? This can actually be achieved via editing the embed URL. Let me come back to the Speckle Weaver. I'm going to click on Share and copy the embed URL again. And let's analyze it. So our source URL is this part. So I'm going to copy this and let's paste it one more time. So the URL contains the speckle.xyz and then I have the embed question mark stream equals to the stream URL and commit, which is, you know, a snapshot of our data in a particular point in time and then equals to this commit ID. So if I delete the commit part and the end symbol, so what this embed contains is the up-to-date version of the stream of our Revit data. So we are always seeing the latest commit made through this speckle stream. So I'm going to copy this and let me delete this one and paste it into the Notion. So as you can see, this has also created a new uh, Speckle Weaver. So I'm going to open it. So yeah, this is, you know, this is the same model. But let's see what's going to change. So I'm going to come back to Revit and let's say that I want to change the window size of these three windows and set their width as 1200 and height as maybe 2000 and I'm going to change uh, yeah I think this is totally fine so these are a bit smaller now as you can see let's make it a bit little more dramatic so I'm going to change this to maybe 1800 so yeah they are more like a square and then I'm going to reactivate the Revit connector and make another send It is sent successfully. Let's view it online. Let's go back to the Notion and refresh our Notion page. So since what we have embedded is the stream, so we are embedding a speckle stream, we should see the latest commit made to that stream in the Notion page. And actually, it is what we are seeing. Congratulations, you have made it. So if I make any changes in the Revit model and send it to the Speckle again, they will be visible in the Notion page too. For instance, let's say that I'm going to change this roof to warm roof. So as you can see, its color is different, etc. I'm going to click on Revit. Let's make a new commit. Come back to Notion, refresh our page. Reactivate the viewer and 
and yeah, the roof material is changed. Okay, that was it. In this video, I showed you how to embed a Revit model into a Notion page using Speckle. I hope you learned something new. Thanks for watching. And if you have any comments or a recommendation for a future tutorial, just let us know in the comment section below or the forum page of Speckle, speckle.community. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.